What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Navisworks Manage 2022. So in this topic, we are going to learn how to use find item tools. Okay, so before we go to that tool, one quick way of finding an element is by going to your selection tree. Okay, so by default, the selection tree here is set to standard view. So when you say standard view, from the selection tree, it displays the default tree hierarchy, including all the instancing like the foundation level one, ceiling level, and then the roof line level. Okay, if you're going to click the drop down arrow, you can see that you can also use compact. So if you select compact, it will displace a simplified version of the tree hierarchy, just like that. So if it is standard, so like this so this is the compact okay so basically you can see the difference if you have more uh, project append to your Navis works manage but at the moment as you can see there's not much difference between the compact and then the standard right okay so you can see that on the standard you will notice there's a plus icon there if you click that, it will actually expand that. Okay, if you go to your compact, so there's no plus icon. So basically, it's very simple. It's a simplified version of the uh, tree hierarchy uh, with no way for you to be able to expand that. So that is compact. So if it is uh, standard, so you can expand that. And then the last one here is uh, properties. If you click the properties, it will displace the hierarchy based on the item's properties. Okay, so like for example, the ceiling here, you can select. Um, the glass here, you can select. Okay, so you can do that. So these are the three standard options that you can select when viewing your elements from the selection tree. So you can find also the elements using the selection tree. Now, the Find Tools can be found on your Home tab, and then you can see here Find Items. Okay, so if you click the Find Items, so you will now see the Find Items here. Let me just close my selection tree here. Okay, so this is our uh, Find Items. Okay, so here, this is our model, and then these are the settings that we can use to find an item so as you can see glass is already selected here so I'm going to right click that I'm going to delete that condition okay so here you have the category you have the property you have the condition and then you have the value so let's say for example I would like to find here an item okay so these are the categories in our Navis works manage project so let's say I want to find an item here whose property material that is let's say contains okay that contains the word let's say I want some metallic one here let's say metal aluminum this one so I'm gonna select that one okay so I want to find the items whose material contains metal aluminum you can actually still add another category here if you want but for the moment, I'm just going to use this uh, settings here. If you are going to right click, you can also see here some of the uh, parameters that you can do to further more define your find items here. So you can ignore string value case, uh, diacritics, character widths, etc. etc. So you can use this. You can also put here an or condition or negate condition and of course you can also delete the condition so I'm just gonna click outside here I'm not gonna use any of that settings so this is just a basic uh, find items uh, condition so I'm, I want to find the item whose material contains metal aluminum okay so after you set that parameter so you can now select your find first click that one before I do that let me just turn on the properties so there's the property. So as you can see at the moment, there is no selected object. Now, if I'm going to select here, find first, the property should be able to populate a property of the selected element. So I'm going to select find items. 
just click that one and there you go so you can see now that it's already populated with this property here so meaning to say there's already selected element here now i can't find it uh easily okay so sometimes what i do is i just go to uh viewpoint and then i change the mode to wireframe okay so that is what is happening right so i can go to the wireframe mode and then from here i need to find it manually which is very difficult right so if i'm gonna zoom in here currently the selected elements in my model is set to blue that's why i'm pretty sure that this is the one that is selected currently it's colored blue so if i'm going to select find next again or the first time i select find next so you will notice it will not becomes blue anymore so there is another one okay so instead of changing the visual style to wireframe so i can just change that again to shaded view so instead of changing the view to wireframe what you can do is after you select the object so you can now click one of the isometric view here which is this one here you click that and then automatically revit will zoom into the or zoom into your selected element so i'm going to select find next again okay and then let's click again that corner and there you go so revit will zoom into that particular element okay and of course you also have here find all so you can click find all and then as you can see you now have here three items selected so what you can do if you want to see all of these items selected or highlighted or you want to see that easily what you do is you go to the home tab and then just hide mm, unselected so hide unselected and then it will now show you the other elements here that one two three okay there you go so basically that's how you use your uh, find items so it's not that difficult and on our next lesson and I'm going to show you how to save your current uh, current set uh, search and I'm also going to show you how to save a uh, search sets okay but at the moment so that's how you use the find tools okay so hopefully you learn something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day.